Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Students, now I am going to prove fundamental identity. So you start, I start with some introduction. Now consider a right angle triangle, say ABC, having right angles at point at vertex C. So make a right angle triangle. This is your vertex A having angle theta a radian and then vertex B and then vertex C. Opposite to this vertex C, we have side small c, representing by small c. Opposite to the vertex A, we have side small a. And opposite to the vertex B, we have small, side small b. Okay. Then the side opposite to this 98 degree is called hypotenuse. So, this side is called hypotenuse, which is opposite to this 90 degree. Then the side BC opposite to the angle given angle theta. This side, say small side A, is opposite or it's called perpendicular. And the third side, remaining side, we have AC, which is called adjacent or base of this right angle triangle. Got it? Okay. Now I am going to present a very simple way to find trigonometric function in terms of sides. Suppose we have a right angle triangle and opposite to theta we have uh, opposite to 90 we have hypotenuse, opposite to given angle theta we have perpendicular and the remaining side we have base. Now, I am going to present a different way to remember, a simple way to remember trigonometric function ratios. So, I make a, a, a arrow. Starting from perpendicular, ending at hypotenuse, again an, a, a, an arrow which is starting from perpendicular, ending at base, and an arrow which is starting from B and ending at hypotenuse. Now, I am going to use these three arrows to uh, write the fraction of the sides. I mean first I am going to write sine theta which is equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse. How? You can see on my diagram this is your starting point is perpendicular your ending point is hypotenuse so you can write it as perpendicular over hypotenuse. Okay now I am going to find cos theta which uh, is uh, equal to starting point your base and ending point hypotenuse so you can write it as base over hypotenuse and lastly we have tangent theta your starting point is perpendicular ending point is base so you can write it as perpendicular over base so it's a very simple way to uh, remember the ratio between sine theta cos theta and tangent theta along with sides when reciprocal of sine theta is cos secant theta, you can just uh, take reciprocal of this. You can write as hypotenuse over perpendicular and cos secant theta is hypotenuse over base and what is cos theta? Just take reverse of this, reciprocal of this, we have base over perpendicular. So it's a very simple way to remember sine theta, cos theta, tangent theta and their reciprocals. Now I am going to use these information uh, in order to prove fundamental identities. Now fundamental identities. You can uh, I, uh, you can remember this as slide one. I am going to prove again make a right angle triangle having base perpendicular and hypotenuse. So we know that sine theta is equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse. And what is your perpendicular? A. And what is your hypotenuse? As C. So you can write this sine theta as A over C. And cos theta is equal to what? Base over hypotenuse. Your base is equal to B and hypotenuse is equal to C. So write it as B over C. Say this is your equation number 2. And lastly, I have tangent theta which is equal to perpendicular over base. Your perpendicular is A, your base is B. Say this is your equation number 3. Now take reciprocal of this. We have sine cosecant theta, secant theta and cotangent theta. So we have a 6 equation. I am going to use uh, these equation to solve the fundamental identities. Got it? 
but I start with Pythagoras theorem. You know that Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus b square. You have hypotenuse is equal to c and perpendicular is equal to a and base is equal to b. So you can write it as c square is equal to a square plus b square. Say this is your equation number 7. I am going to use this equation, this uh, uh, diagram and this equation to prove the fundamental identities. So just remember this slide, uh, which was, uh, which is your slide 1. Any problem? Okay. I am going to prove my first fundamental identity, which is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Just remember equation 7 which was c square is equal to a square plus b square. Make another right angle triangle. Just divide this equation 7 by c square. So c square over c square, a square over c square and b square over c square. This c square uh, over c square becomes 1. So we have a over c whole square, b over c whole square is equal to 1. And what was the value of ratio a over c and b over c? Just remind your slide 1 using equation 1 and 2. In equation 1, we have a over c is equal to sine theta and b over c is equal to cos square theta. Now using two rules. First one is if we have a sine theta all square we can write it as sine square theta and cos theta all square we can write it as cos square theta. So write this sine theta all square by sine square theta and replace this cos theta all square by cos square theta. So sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Any problem? Okay, now I am going to prove our next formula. Again, I am going to use this equation 7. Not it. So, we move on to our next proof, which is 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. So, again, I start with the same diagram and same equation, which is c square is equal to a square plus b square. This time, I am going to divide this equation by b square. So divide this c square by b square, a square by b square and b square by b square. After simplifying, I have a over b whole square. Just cut this b square with b square. We have 1 and c over b whole square. And what was the value of a over b and c over b? Just again, I remember your slide 1 using equation 3 and 5. We have tangent theta square and c over b is equal to secant square theta. Now using the result we have tangent theta whole square is equal to tangent square theta and secant theta whole square is equal to secant square theta. So by, by replacing these values we have 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. Any problem? So I am going to prove our last proof which is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. And interestingly, I am going to use again which equation? S equation 7, which was c square is equal to a square plus b square. This time I am going to divide this equation by a square. So we have c square over a square, a square over a square, and b square over a square. More simplifying, we have c over a, just cut this a square with a square 1 and b over a whole square. And what was the value of c over a at b over a in trigonometric function? Yes, you can use equation 4 and 6. b over a is equal to cot theta and c over a is equal to cosecant theta. Now again, write it as cot theta or square is equal to cot square theta and cosecant theta or square is equal to cosecant square theta. So most simplifying, we have 1 plus cot square is equal to cosecant square theta. Got it? So students, that is, that's it from now. Inshallah, we will meet in our next lecture. Okay then, Allah Hafiz.